Okay guys, so I've dismantled my Sega Saturn and um, seems the power button is stuck over here. It would not come off. And the reset button is here. See, it's like so. And uh, in order to take this piece, uh, take, take off the, the lid, I had to remove five screws, these five, on the bottom of the Sega Saturn. And after that, uh, this piece was sitting over here, uh, something like so, with the one screw uh, over there, like so, and uh, two screws over here, like so. And uh, so I remove this, and of course, before I remove it, I disconnected this one. It was sitting over here. Uh, so our interest was this piece here, which which is the fuse, and uh, it's one point six ampere ampere. Uh, and as you can see on the bottom, I can get some focus. Uh, you can see if I wiggle a little bit there, you see those things sitting there, they're not soldered. And I think that's the problem. So I think the fuse I had already, which I put somewhere, I don't remember where I put it. <laughs> yeah, somewhere I put it. Uh, the fuse which was already there, it was actually okay. I think the problem was was just the connectors. So, uh, anyways, uh, let's see over here. Yeah, these are the kinds of fuses you would like to buy. Let's see if I can get some focus. Like so. 1.6 amperes glass fuses. You can buy this at uh, Klaus Olsson in Sweden. Just in case this little metal thingy in here has broken. I can probably not get any. Uh, yeah, that. See that little there. If that thread is broken, then you've got a broken fuse. But anyways, the problem wasn't that on mine. And oh my god, look at that weather. <laughs> not bad. So anyways, I've got my soldering pen here. Uh, Gonna let it heat up for a while. This is one of the cheaper ones, like uh, 70 kroners, uh, maybe 120 as most expensive. Gonna let that one heat up and then I'm going to solder this fuse thingy on the bottom. The fuse holder on the bottom so, so it gets proper connection. That was probably why my Saturn would not work. Yeah, so um, uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Yo, yeah. so we've uh, finally soldered the, the fuse in place. And uh, now let's try it. Um, just to make sure it powers on. And it does, that's nice. So, we've fixed my uh, Sega Saturn. That was easy. So, be right back with some streaming of uh, Rockman 8. Okay, so here we go. We got my Sega Saturn running again. One problem here is, uh, it said like this in the beginning, 1994 or something. Uh, thing is... Uh, Let's see, it's the second, I think. Uh, the time is three. Four, we could say. I guess that's okay. Damn it, that's a reset. <laughs> now, the problem is here, uh, I think the batteries have run out on this console. 
So. So it will not store these values I actually entered just now. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some audio. I had to increase the sync level a lot. Uh, okay, so yeah. Uh, this is one of the things I also bought recently. Oops, and uh, it's the, the action replay. This allows me to start. Start game with no cheats enabled. Um, yeah, the the action replay al allows you to run uh, game Sega Saturn games from different regions. And it's working! It's working! Yeah, so I'll be streaming this in a moment. Uh, we're just going to actually... Eight Eight Level Heroes! Or whatever you said. Um, I'm going to show you something. So shut off the Sega Saturn. And uh, we're going to look here in the back. Uh, first we're going to disconnect the, the power cord here just in case. So we're gonna open this little lid over here. If my... There we go. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see this, but uh, let's see. Get some light in there. There is a battery over there, and I think that one needs to be replaced. That's why it uh, showed the wrong date. So we're going to pluck this out somehow without destroying anything. Let's see. Yeah, okay, you just bend it in like so. Let's just take this out. And uh, it says uh, Panasonic Panasonic CR20323V plus. So let's go to the store and see if we can get one of these. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go grab some... Uh, one of these as well. This is from the barcode battler cartridge. And this one says CR2032 as well, 3 volts. So we need two identical batteries. So, let's just go to the store and grab these, okay? Cheerio! Okay guys, so, I'm back from uh, Statoil, the, our local Statoil store. And uh, I bought these. And can you imagine the cost of these? 41 Swedish kroners each. That's... Fucking expensive. Anyways, um... So... Uh, I went on eBay and checked how much these cost, and you know what? For 10 of these, you can pay like 20 Swedish kroners. That's like three, four dollars. And this cost just one of these, just one of these. Cost like an insane amount. Okay, so we finally got a brand new CR2032 lithium battery. This one's made in Indonesia. So hopefully it's quality stuff. Uh, <laughs> do they make quality stuff in Indonesia? I've got no clue. Anyway, we're gonna snap this in like so. And now we pop that in. Let's just put back the lid. Like so. There we go. And now let's just push in the power and uh, boot up our Sega Saturn. And uh, 
Now we need to input the date again, of course. But after this time, I think it should have saved the settings. Uh, second and time is 16.23 here. So 4.23. And OK. It's pretty amazing. This this console was released in ninety four. OK, so there we go. Manager, memory manager. Memory manager. OK, so you push the a button to select. Yeah, cartridge memory, system memory, nothing. So on the cartridge memory you got 8 megs, I think, and uh, on the system memory you got half a meg. So that's not very much. You must exit to save the changes. Okay, exit. Okay, so let's try and uh, shut off the system and boot it up again. Now we should not be presented. Yeah, exactly. We, we're not presented with uh, the time thingy. Now it boots up instantly, and this is how we want it to work. So, now I'm ready to stream again. <laughs> Just gonna upload this footage to the net, and uh, see you guys later. Bye!